Hello, grade 10. Welcome back. Um, happy science time. In this lesson, lesson number three, we will be talking about the distribution of active volcanoes, the earthquakes, epi epicenters, and the major mountain belts or mountain ranges in the world. So in lesson number one, we studied about, you learned that the Earth's crust or the surface of the Earth is not, is divided into moving plates, no? Umagalaw siya talaga. That is why may mga earthquakes. That is why we have volcanoes. That is why we have mountains because the surface of the Earth or, or, or the land masses on the surface of the Earth are moving, gumagalaw, no? In different directions, in different speeds. Uh, you also learned in lesson number two about um, the causes of earthquakes, no? So, sa ilalim ng lupa, yung paggalaw nito ng mga plates, ito, uh, they cause a breakage or yung pagkakabasag-basag or movements ng mga rocks sa ilalim ng lupa. And that causes um, seismic waves. And seismic waves come in different kinds, no? We have the body waves, and then we have the surface waves. And then now, in that lesson number three, we will be talking about the relationships, uh, the distribution, or the locations. Pag sinabing distribution, it is the same thing as locations, no? Meron bang relationship? Or, yeah, is there any relationship between the location or the distribution of the active volcanoes, the earthquakes, the epicenters, earthquake epicenters, and the major mountain belts sa mundo? So here is a gif of the tectonic plate. So you can see, really, that the Earth's surface is made up of different plates, no? Different chunk of plates. So we have here, one, we have two, three, here's small plates, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. So marami siya. Now, these, um, the, um, the colors, are, the, there is a color coding here, no? Yung mga purple lines or purple dots na nakikita nyo, they are the earthquake epicenters. So, over time, they record po yan ng mga scientists at plinot nila sa map, map, no? Nilagay nila sa map kung saan ba usually na re-record yung mga epicenters. At ito yung result, no? So, so nakita nila dito sa map ng buong mundo that uh, here, itong mga area na to, yung mga purple ones, diyan madalas nangyayari or diyan madalas nakikita yung epicenters ng earthquakes. So diyan madalas nangyayari yung lindol. No? And the orange ones, yan naman yung mga lugar kung saan makikita yung mga active volcanoes on Earth. Now, I want you guys to take a look again at this GIF and try to think, try to understand is there a relationship between the locations or distributions of the earthquakes and the active volcanoes? Now, here is another map no, that shows, hindi na siya GIF. So here's another map that shows the distribution of earthquake epicenters and active volcanoes. All right? So kung napapansin nyo, the red ones, saan yung aking pansulat? The red ones here, the red dots, they are the earthquake epicenters, no? At yung mga black triangles, uh, just, I'm just going to change my, okay, sa so blue. So yung mga black na triangle, they are the active volcanoes. Now, as you can see in this map, guys, this is a bit different from the GIF, no? Kasi yung sa GIF, nandito po yung North America. Uh, ito yung sanay na sanay tayo, and then the South Africa. Uh, uh, sorry, North, uh, North Amer America and South America, and the Philippines is here. No, here. Uh, let me change the color. So here is the Philippines. No? But in this map, ganun pa rin naman, pero inusog lang ng konti. Here is the Philippines. If you can see it, the Philippines is here. So nandito po yung Philippines. All right? And here is the North and South America. And this is the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the largest ocean in the whole wide world. So, Guys, I was asking you earlier kung ano yung relationship na nakita nyo between the locations of the earthquakes, ep earthquake epicenters and the active volcanoes. So, if you answered, Sir, kung nasaan yung mga earthquake origin, nandun din po yung mga volcanoes, then your answer is very good. So, we don't see them and uh, we, we, we don't see them sa isang lugar lang, no? They are distributed all around the world, but there are areas where they are concentrated, no? And ito po yung mga areas na yan. So we have here, yan, itong line na yan. Okay? So itong line na to. So nakikita nyo naman, di ba? There. Diyan po madalas nangyayari yung earthquakes at dyan po rin makikita yung mga volcanoes natin, yung mga active volcanoes here. 
So, kung nasaan yung mga red dots and black triangle, so dyan po makikita yung mga um, yung mga earthquakes and uh, active volcanoes natin. So, now, hindi lang yun, there is also the distribution of mountains around the world. So, yung mountain ranges or sa Tagalog, mga bulubundukin. So, pag sinabi natin mountain range, hindi na siyang isang bundok, but kahabaan ng mga bundok, no? Kaya nga bulubundukin. So, you can also see here that uh, the western part of the North America and the South America ay punong-puno rin po ng mga bundok. So, iba po yung vulkan sa bundok. So, volcanoes, merong nag, nag, uh, ano siya, naglalabas siya ng magma. Pag lumabas, it's lava, no? Pag mountains, so these are just rocks na inangat, no? Inangat lang siya. So, continental crust lang siya na umangat. Alright? So, you can also see mountains here in Japan, here in this area of Asia, here, no? Here in the Philippines, marami rin po mga mountains. So, let us try to to bring all of those maps together. Okay. So, here are the mountain ranges. Above, here are the mountain, mountain ranges. And below are the volcanoes and the earthquakes, no? Volcanoes and earthquakes. Remember, volcanoes are colored orange here. Yung mga orange dito sa baba, hindi sa tasa, sa baba. And volcanoes, uh, volcanoes are oranges and the earthquakes are colored in purple. So what can you infer from this? Guys, if you're going to take a closer look at the distribution or the locations of the mountain ranges and the volcanoes and earthquakes, they are almost, you can almost, you can find them almost in the same places, right? Like the western part, uh, western part of North America and South America, may mga volcanoes and earthquakes dyan. Dito, meron namang mga mountain ranges, all right? Uh, let me change the color again. Uh, dito naman, may mga mountain ranges, okay? Now, guys, ganon din po sa may bandang Asia. So, um, if you're going to take a look at this, guys, earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain ranges, they are found mostly on the edges of the tectonic plates. No? Bihirang-bihira po na may mga volcanoes, na may mga mountain ranges, na may mga earthquakes sa gitna ng plate. Like, for example, the North American plate. This one, for example, this one, this plate here, which has the North American, which is called the North American plate. It is very, very seldom that you can see earthquakes, earthquakes and volcanoes and yeah, mountain ranges dun sa gitna mismo, no? Sa gitna mismo ng, ng tectonic plates or sa gitna ng plate mismo. Ganon din sa Africa, here. Ganon din sa South Africa. Alright? Usually, makikita natin yung earthquakes and volcanoes sa edges, dun sa gilid, or kung saan makikita yung mga bitak-bitak na part ng plates. Why? Because they are moving. So, kung gumagalaw sila, therefore, you will find earthquakes there. Sir, bakit po nagkakaroon ng volcanoes? Because some of the plates are moving downwards. No? At kapag nag-move siya ng downwards, yung lupa na yon, mainit dun, matutunaw, so, magkakaroon ng added pressure, magkakaroon ng added matter, kasi nga natunaw yung nag-melt nag yung naging molten rock siya. So, saan siya lalabas? Lalabas siya sa taas bilang volcanoes, which we will study on the next lessons. Alright? So, that is the question to this, uh, that is the answer to these questions. How are they all related? Volcanoes, earthquakes, and mountain ranges. So, the answer is that all of them can be found on the edges of the tectonic plates. Alright? So, lahat po sila ay makikita doon sa edges ng tectonic plates because they're all moving. 